welcome to a tour of the Chateau de Saint-Germain-des-Prés and La Lande and Colombe and La Grande Couture. So, you might have noticed we are not in our regular car today. We have just picked up a, uh, a moving van and we are on our way to La Lande and then Colombe and then the Chateau de uh, Grande Couture. We are doing a grand tour today to um, do some furniture picking up. That's right. It's going to be 700 kilometers round trip. And we are picking up a bed set and a canopy set and some artist uh, countertop work. Anyways, we'll show you as we get the pieces, yeah. but it's going to be a big long tour. So it'll it's a long day. So we are we are here to pick up some some furniture from Lalonde. Yep. You can probably see from behind me where we are. Yep. Um, yes. Top number one. Very excited. Awesome. And we're now we're doing deliveries too, which is good. Yep. Yep. There we go. It's going to be a little bit of swaparoo. So hopefully that goes. Empty. Jimmy Fuller. Yeah. A lot of in and out today, honey. You are going to be exhausted. Uh, yeah. It's going to be a long day. Yeah. We got this. Yeah. Oh, well, there we go. We're about to hit the road for step two. So now we're going from the land over to Cologne. Yeah. And we are doing this in the right way because that was the biggest load and it's down the far end, you know, closest to us. So, yeah. Yeah. But, and we're taking things from the land to Cologne. Yeah. And then we're picking up things from Cologne for us. And then we're taking things from here to Gracoutour. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, follow along. It's, it's Banner and Maker Delivery System today. <laughs> I really enjoy watching the, uh, the gents play Jenga. <laughs> Hacking Jenga with the truck. Yeah. And they're actually doing a really good job. Yes, they are. Yeah, what's that? Kind of stick person before. Oh no, that's it. Well, can I just say I'm, I want to say four chairs. Look at my fingers. Four. <laughs> oh, oh, <gosh>. my. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Okay. So some dusting may be required. <laughs> Maybe. I, I'm not aware. Can I just mention that we wanted to put a fountain up, but we just put up a fountain. Apparently, yeah, so yeah. Look, well, it's already a water well, feature. Yeah, We're done. Say you're halfway, done. You're halfway there. <laughs> it's you know? yes. <laughs> so we're it, good grief. It may lack some of the details you were thinking of. You know, you can get one of those little solar fountain thingies right? that float to the top of that, right? Oh, my gosh. And this is since yesterday. Yeah. It has been raining. It was actually completely dry this morning. Right. But That's insane. You know, I've moved a, f a number of things. You've seen me pack stuff in the car. This is the ugliest packing I've ever done. <laughs> <All> <laughs> Look at that waster space back there. Yeah. Look at the right. air in there. I mean, <laughs> do, you need, do you have other things we need to get rid of? Toss them on in. Yeah. Well, you'll have to come to ours finally. Well, yeah. I swear. We won't it's just, it's just everything you're offering me. In June? We might I believe. In June. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 That'd be nice. Yeah. Dr. Plutter, thank you so Can much. Get you anything else? So okay. I think it's some sort of Christmas miracle. Oh, no, wait, Easter miracle. It stopped raining for a second. Yes, maybe we can actually move some furniture without having to get it wet. Yeah, that'd be delightful. Gavin. Okay, so we are here at Grand Couture with yeah. Bonnie. Yeah. Where we are dropping off a sofa and picking up a kitchen unit. Yes. We've had we've had a good trip so far, but I yeah. think we've just hit a block. Yeah. So we yeah. had we had measured. Yeah. And we thought it was going to work, but then on arrival, we're discovering. Well, Bonnie, you told us it wasn't dis dissemblable, but it really isn't dissemblable. Yeah, and just to give you an idea, they used to like it's it's stainless steel. Yeah, and it's also got massive wood blocks that the steel you, is wrapped around. Why don't you show everybody what it's like when Stephen tries to lift something? And you've seen the things that Stephen can lift. Yeah, like he's working hard, and I'm barely getting it off one edge. So. Yeah, I mean the three of us, as strong as we are, I don't think we get this in the. 
Uh, no. No. And not with the other furniture that we've picked up as well. So sadly, I think that one is a mess, but yeah. very, very generous that offer. Cycling now for sale. But it's been good. So we got we got good visits, and so we've dropped furniture off and picked furniture up. and We got to see wonderful people. Exactly. Yeah. It's been good. Well, day two, we are on our way back to our chateau. Um, bit of a disappointment, obviously, with the, with the table from Bonnie, but, you know, I think it's the right decision in the end. Yeah. It just wasn't going to be a flexible. We need our space, workspaces to be flexible, um, and it was just, I don't know. We had the measurements, we had the information, but, you know, sometimes when you see things in person, it's just different. And when you're trying to lift them in person, it's different. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Without, without a lot of equipment, I don't think that one was coming home with us. So. Yeah. So. Oh, well. Otherwise, a successful round trip. Furniture yeah. was picked up, furniture was delivered. And it's not raining. It's a beautiful day. What should have been a three and a half hour ride home actually ended up adding on an extra hour, hour and a half because everywhere we went, there was a whole lot of flooding and we just kept running into blocked roads and particularly blocked bridges. So we ended up having to backtrack or go quite far off the path to find a place where we could actually get over this river. So that was an exciting ride home. Fortunately, it wasn't raining as we were driving or that might have made it even more challenging. Well, what do you think? We finally made it. We did. The grand tour. Woohoo! Back to Chateau number four. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. Look, I think. Oh gosh, moment of truth. I think everything has survived. Good Here job, honey. We did okay. Good job. Oh, that was a lot of driving. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was so far we've done 550. Yeah. Say, five, about 550 plowers. Plus, we still have to take the van back, which is another 83, so, oh. yeah. That's a lot in two days. That's a lot in two days, but that's all right. We saw some friends. We uh, we got some really cool stuff. So yeah. Let's get it unpacked. Let's do it. Kind of, oops, we did it again. We have once again filled up our main room with furniture. My goodness. Uh, yeah, now we just need to move that up to the second and third floor. Piece of cake, right? Wish us luck. There is a new brocante in Exidoy and we are very excited. So it's where the old grocery store was and we have come in and the owner has given us permission to film because there are many beautiful things. Yeah. Danger, 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 yes. it's beautiful. I almost don't want to tell everyone it's here because there's so many beautiful things, yeah. but what are some things that have caught our eye? Yeah, there's some gorgeous, gorgeous pieces here from sculpture pieces. I mean, that caught us immediately. And then, of course, the crystal um, champagne server, which there is another one over in the corner over mm -hmm. there. There are some lovely this furniture pieces. Furniture is gorgeous. I love the vase, too. Yeah. And they've done a clever job of making shelves out of the old refrigeration unit. Like food There's a real mix of styles, some older, some newer. Um, this is just one of the pieces that I love for being so over the top. It's it's garish, but it's done really well. So. Exactly, <laughs> right? Like can't. it's it's garish to a North American taste or maybe to a modern taste, and yet I love it because it's it just represents color and art and yeah. a metier and yeah i love like it you need to sort of build a room or, or a, <laughs> exactly. an aesthetic around it but it's absolutely stunning I like yeah it, you know we go back and forth with these things because there there is a point at which it tips over into being <laughs> right. wrong Kitsch. But, yes exactly <laughs> when it's yeah. when it's executed so beautifully it's it's really hard to to deny that's it's, it's quality and know? easy to appreciate yeah, yeah very much so <laughs> well i want to show people this one because this one's yeah. giving me vibes i can't oh, even God. tell you what but it's just giving me vibes this is a more modern piece. Trying to decide which one is me. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm, with I'm, your someone... current haircut, I think you're right about here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're far more complimentary on the set of <laughs> And then there's some really, um, there was some artwork that caught our eye over here too. We thought this would go beautifully in the new yellow bedroom. <laughs> and very reasonably priced. Yeah, very pretty. Are those coming home with us? Maybe. I don't know. We'll discuss. And then... Oh, and for for uh, 
just for Curtis's sake. Yes. Because there always, as he says, there always has to be something Egyptian. Yeah. It's close. Oh We've gosh, got it's Isabel. It's Isabel on the camel. No, sorry. There yes. You go. Yeah. That's so, me off the camel. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And then just as we were about to leave, these little oh. pièces de résistance met our eye. Yeah, and that struck me immediately. Authentic Art Nouveau vases, and there's a pair of them, and they're so beautiful. The workmanship is absolutely stunning. So, we yeah. are going to have to save our pennies, come back here, and shop this place out. Fortunately, it's closed. Yes, exactly. And unfortunately, it's closed. <laughs> exactly, dangerously so. Yeah. So, anyways, if anyone's around, please come and check them out. Yeah. At the Brocante en Temporel Design. With the facilitator's bedroom almost done, but for some furniture, it's time to wrap up the last remaining pieces of work before the retreat season starts. So one of those pieces is the WC, where Molly and I were fighting with wallpaper a few weeks ago, and now Rosemary and I are going to pick up the task and finish off this room with a bit of help from Steve. In the time it took me to go downstairs and get a paintbrush, Stephen has been in and taken out a sink. Indeed. So that's all demounted and obviously we have some plaster work to do, but uh, yeah. I think people will appreciate this. That was what was holding it onto the wall. <laughs> Seems to be par for our course. That's actually quite big par for our course for our chateau. I yeah, mean... two of those it was just screwed into oh. the wall. Oh, two. Oh, yeah. that's extra well, secure for our chateau, yeah. yeah. Another element to the uh, upstairs loo is to replace the pedestal sink that was there and you guys may have seen that we bought this beautiful kettle pot that was already already had a hole cut in it for a, a drain uh, it was obviously being used as a sink it looks like it's been sealed as well um, so we bought that at a brocant and then I bought this lovely nightstand with a marble top on it and that will serve as the sink's pedestal. So now the next phase of this is we got to cut a hole for the drain. So this is uh, you know using a uh, marble cutter. So this will go into the drill and cut through to cut a hole. I just did a test cut because it's been a while. Um, well, since I researched it and I've never actually done this, so. Um, what I did was cut through this piece of marble that had broken. Uh, lots and lots of water, that's what I was told, or, you know, make sure that it stays nice and cool, and basically let the bit do its job. Then, of course, I'm going to have to modify, you know, the areas here where this drawer is. We're probably going to end up, you know, just doing the facade of this drawer and tacking it in and taking the rest out, because, of course, we're going to have to drop a drain and a trap underneath there this is a bit of an ambitious one for me i've never really done this but hey this is the first time for everything we have it we have a hole here a smaller hole for the faucet and then the drain hole here you can see that there is wood below this this uh, stand normally when you buy these these are just sort of sitting on top the marble top but this is actually glued down so I'm now gonna have to get a hole saw uh, a wood hole saw to cut through the wood that's underneath here um, I believe I've got those in the garage and then we'll be ready to start plumbing
this is kind of exciting. That actually worked out extremely well. Those, uh, those saws worked great. Um, yeah, very, very happy. Okay. This looks very exciting. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. We have holes, at least <laughs> through the marble. Oh, wow. Gotta get through the wood. Yeah. Okay. But I can show you what this looks like. Please. So if I sit that there. Oh. There's the sink. Yay! And then over this hole. Oh. Is where that sits. Oh, that looks so nice. So oh, I love it. Don't you love it? I, I think it's great. I, I love it a lot. I think uh, it's going to look really sweet when it's done. Yeah. yeah. Very vintage. Yeah. Well, that was, a, that was a really big part to get that done. Yeah. That's a, um, yeah. Now it's a matter of drilling holes for the uh, drains, the tap, uh, the trap. Yeah. Holes to the back and away we go. I can't believe you found this piece that's just like this gorgeous kind of, it's yeah. almost greenish gray and it goes so nicely with the copper. Yeah, it's a good I, find. Think, I think the whole thing works really extremely nicely as, as, a, as a, a unit, so. Yeah. Well, we did a great job yesterday and I'm pleased with how the wallpaper's looking. We've got a bit of trimming to do, which is easier to do when it's dry than wet because reasons. Um, and then Rosemary and I both looked at this wallpaper right beside it and went, um, maybe not. So Rosemary is now working very hard um, with the steamer and the scraper and is having at. Be here for another month. Yep. Well, it's seven o'clock. And all is well. And we are almost there. Yep. Those three pieces will just take us a good bit of, hour or so tomorrow. Bit of trimming, bit of final little narrow pieces to put in. Yeah. A couple of patches. <laughs> Thank you very much for your help today. You're yeah. welcome. To get this stuff off, which is ancient wallpaper. Uh huh. We have to mostly soak it uh -huh. as much as possible, and then eventually it'll come off bit by bit. Not always as beautifully as we would like, but. <coughs> so you just have to keep working at it and keep spraying it with your steam. That's it. Okay. Steam, so it spray steam it, away. Work it. Steam away. And that's basically what we did for that entire conservatory. That was a good time. I look back on that not very fondly at all. I would say that <laughs> took weeks. Yes. This I think one doorway is enough to ask one volunteer to do. <laughs> this is taking me what? I actually, day. you know, now I step back, I'm actually really enjoying how your shirt coordinates with the wallpaper well, right now. Well, I do my now. best, you know, <laughs> doing my best to dress accordingly to the, to the oh, chateau's but, demands. That was very well planned, I have to say. <laughs> Extraordinary. <laughs> so hopefully this is the last little bit of our installation of everything on this room, and we're just touching up the last pieces. Yesterday was hard. I'm not going to lie, it was a lot of hard installation because of working around the pipes in the corners where the ladder can't quite reach, um, including up in that corner under a curved pipe. Uh, so that was, that was a good time. Hello, Rosemary. I'm still here. <laughs> Thank you for being my assistant as I am this far up the ladder again. Yes, I'm being very brave. I'm getting used to it. I just wanted to point out with this whole room has been so difficult. The pipes are on the exterior and these are stone walls, so no, they're not going on the interior. And I have to work around them and the things that pin them into the walls. And I'm up a ladder. It's really tricky. <sighs> Anyways. Don't try this yourself. <laughs> exactly. I'm not trying it. <laughs> You're very Sarah wise. Sarah is in charge. <laughs> <laughs> You've been up the ladder gluing. I'm not, I'm not letting you out of this. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's the finished piece there. After a lot of exchanges of the purple thing and scissors, I managed to cut and tuck and cut and tuck. And then we'll wait till it's dry to finish the trim along the top because this paper does not cut well when it's wet. So that's that done. And yes, I will paint in the little gap there. Don't you worry. We have one troublesome little corner left. Right. There was, we almost got it all done, but then there was some very important pizza to be made. And then we had to go pick up Absolutely. some furniture and visit three other chateaux. Yeah. And now we can finish the corner. 
But the question is, do we overlap with a piece that's wide enough, right? Or do we use the matching piece that isn't wide enough and then cut a five centimeter strip? It's very backlit, but you'll have to trust us that it's done. There ended up being more pattern matching than I wanted and perhaps a little more swearing than I can put on this vlog, but uh, we're in, we're done. <sighs> Happy candles. Exactly. And now we can tidy up. Mm -hmm. Thank you for all your help, Rosemary. My pleasure.